Hi. Run us through it. Oh, I'm about to start a co-op. As you can see, I've got tons of fruit here. Organic bananas from the Dane Tree. Beautiful, beautiful bananas. Pears. These are actually some of the best pears I've ever tasted in my life. Yeah, like, I was a bit dubious when she said I'll give them to you. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I thought, might as well, if I can't eat them, I'll give them to the possums. But they're actually pretty good. Oh, High and mineral density, very sugary. Yeah, we've got persimmons here, we've got some gold kiwis, melon, a bit of juice, grapes. So all bananas? Set up. Go for it yourself. How many, how many boxes of bananas are there? Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven boxes? Seven boxes. 13 kilos each, so about 20, 27 pounds. Hey, Fruit Bats, it's Frilly the Banana Girl here. Today I'm going to show you all the produce that yep. I eat for a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go over here for a start. This is the grapes, right? These have just sort of gone out of season. They're yep. not organic, but they're spray free. They, and are they sugary? That's the main thing. Yeah, they are sugary. Yep. They're really nice. And I don't always buy organic, but 99% of the time I do. Because it generally tastes better. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like to eat it. But we so. test taste before we buy a lot. And if it's good, we'll get it. If not, we'll skip. Yeah, exactly. That's the secret. So test taste. Bring the camera over. Any good fruit shop will let you test taste. If they don't, just fucking so just go somewhere else. These are the grapes. Yep. And these pears. So these pears, you know, I might eat about 10 to 15 in one meal. Yep. So per day, I'm probably eating about 10 to 15. I might have about that in a week. And they are really good, aren't they? It's hard to get good pears. It's hard to get any good oh, fruit. There's a hair on we, there. we got pretty lucky with these ones. These are really, really good. And what are these things here in the middle? We've got persimmons. Yep. Get your little glove hand out of there. These are persimmons, and they're really, really nice mm -hmm. and sweet, but they take a while to, like, ripen, ripen. up. So, yeah, but can't, so, can't you just eat them anyway? You can't. Crunch into them like, like an these apple? These are ones that you can eat like that, but... Still not ripe. They're still not ripe. Blight you out. So I would recommend not eating them until they're ripe. So then here... What's that there? This, these are carrot pods. Okay. All right. And I love chewing on these. Yeah. These are really, really good. Yeah. You know? So tasty? Really tasty. Well, they taste a lot for carrot pods. They're but like kind of nougat. Nougat. Yeah. you got to watch that crack your teeth on the seeds, though, eh? Yeah. So, and then we've got some nuts here. I don't really eat much nuts, but this is kind of like the fat that I'd eat in a week. What Probably is Probably the most. What avocado and walnuts. Okay, so that's per week. Yeah, per week. Yep. So that's all I'd have. Yeah. And some citrus, but that's not all the citrus I'd have. Come <laughs> over here. Like... Over this side. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Dude, you're going to get fat, all that fructose. So I would have about a bag for a meal. Yeah, but I'd probably have four kilos. This is about three. So about four kilos makes two liters of orange That's juice. a lot of fructose, man. You're going to get obese. I love my fructose. That's, just, that's too much fructose, man. <laughs> I love my fructose. These coconuts, I like to have these. About a tray a week. I put them in with the Daterade. I'll make a recipe with them What, sometime. the coconut meat? They're really nice. The water. So then we got the bananas you over blend, here. you blend the meat with it or what? No, I don't. <laughs> so we've got bananas here. Bananas? What sort of bananas are they? So these bananas are really, these are organic yep. and I probably have about 10 to 15 a day on average. Yep. I'd say about 10 to 15 because I'm eating a whole lot of other stuff. Yep. And you know, so, at the moment it's becoming easier to be raw in this climate because citrus is coming in, you know, and the pears, the dates. More fructose. See these dates? I'll probably have about 10 to 15 dates a day Jeez. on average. You're a fructose junkie. Dates are really quite a staple for me as well, and I just love them in a smoothie. I don't generally just eat them, I smoothie them most of the time. Might have about 10, 15 a day as well. Some days I won't have them at all. I like these mixed berries too. These are really good if you mix it with the dates. In Daterade with water, they're super, super good. It's like this creaming soda berry blast smoothie. Then we have some dried fruit. This is actually jackfruit that my mum dried. And it may look like a bit burnt, but it was actually just super ripe when she dried it, so it's not burnt. And there's a bit of banana. I might have like a little snack of dried fruit every day, especially if fresh calories, fresh fruit calories are not easily easy to get for some reason. There's some grapes, a ton of grapes. Juice. Yeah, I'd have a couple of bottles of juice a week. I generally try to go for organic as much as possible. Coconut sugar. 
So I'd have a couple of bags of coconut sugar, yes. We love a coconut sugar. This one for certified organic, $6.20 for that. Okay. $10.45 for that one. So it's not exactly the cheapest thing in the world, but I really, really love um, coconut sugar. It's like caramel. Here's some greens that I have. Oh, here's the refuse of a meal of kiwis. Been having a few gold kiwis lately. They're yum yums. Zucchinis. Some lettuce. I like these cos lettuce. They're nice and tender. I don't like bitter greens like kale. No thanks. I like them nice and tender and sweet. There's another avocado. Some cucumbers. And, oh, these peas. I love these snow peas. They're really, really good and fresh. You've got to eat them fresh or else they're starchy. And raw starch isn't the best on digestion. Okay, so that's what I generally eat on a raw food diet in one week. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, that is too expensive. I can't afford that. You know, you must be rich. Well, I'm not rich at all. And I've been on this lifestyle where I've had less money. And I've always been able to afford whatever fruit that I care for. Because... I put my health and what goes into my mouth first. It is number one to me. I put other things second, you know, like material possessions and stuff like that. And when you do that, you can afford any, you can, you can afford health, okay? You gotta make it so you can afford health. Come back in other areas. I mean, if you're watching this on modern technology, if you're on Facebook and YouTube, then you can afford to eat a healthy diet of raw fruits and vegetables. Okay, so come back in areas like buy secondhand clothing. That's what I do all the time. I love secondhand clothing and it's so much cheaper. Um, I don't go out to dinner. I really don't. Like, I'm not saying don't go out to dinner ever, but, you know, limited. So it's maybe once a week. I know some people are going out all the time and that can add up a lot. Um, wholesalers, always shop at the wholesalers because you're going to get, if you buy in bulk, you're going to get a way bigger like a way bigger amount of produce for a cheaper price you're going to get a better price so make sure you do wholesale you know, find a co-op in your area also you know if you're you're taking medication and you know you're always sick and you're always visiting the doctors one thing on this lifestyle is you're going to get healthier and you won't have to visit the doctors you know or you won't have to as much you won't be on medication and you're going to save a lot of money that way as well and now, yeah, don't forget to get to know your local organic food shop owner. You can forage off trees as well. Alright, so don't forget to go fruit yourself or root yourself. And I hope you found this helpful and interesting. So give us a thumbs up. Press the like if you did. And I will see you tomorrow for What I Eat Wednesdays. I'm going to take you through a few um, new recipes that I have which are really, really yummy. Alright, see you then. Banana girl. Go fruit yourself.